Hello everybody, Ultimate Bricks here, and today we are going to be ranking all of the LEGO Micro Fighters from worst to best. I know this video has been done before, but now there are 26 Micro Fighters out there that have been released, and I don't think anyone has made a video about uh, all 26, so let's get right into it. Coming in at number 26, the worst one in my opinion is the Vulture Droid and a Battle Droid Pilot one. First of all, battle droids are a pretty uh, common figure, so you're not really gaining anything there. And then I feel like the vulture droid just looks way too chunky. They're really skinny and uh, small and kind of they look sharp and pointy in the movie. But this just, I don't know, I don't really like it at all. And coming in at number 25 is the AT-AT. Uh, this one is the second worst in my opinion. Uh, the at, -AT driver is a nice figure to get, especially since you only get him in at, -AT sets, which is by far the cheapest way to get him. However, the at, -AT itself just looks really chunky, and I don't think it conveys the right shape, uh, especially since, you know, the head is so much bigger, or, you know, just not really the right shape, and the, the, just think the feet and the head are just uh, way too big. And also the missiles on the body don't make any sense sense in the movie um, the only guns were on the head next up is the ATDP I just don't really like the vehicle in general and I feel like it didn't really come across that well in uh, micro fighter form it ends up looking like an ATRT you know one of those open top to walkers even though the ATDP isn't but I mean I guess that is part of the, um, the style but then the ATDP pilot he is a pretty nice minifigure to get, but I don't know. I just don't really like the overall design of this one. The next worst one is one that I don't really like that much. Uh, again, the figure is great in this one. I do like the clone pilot minifigure. However, um, it's supposed to be the dro uh, clone dropship, and I feel that those top missile things, um, well, the launchers up at the top, um, with the, or like the engines right up at the top, those are way too big. Um, they really make the whole thing look really weird and again, it just I feel like this one just looks nothing like uh, The actual vehicle so yeah, this might be the most inaccurate one Here's another one that comes with a battle droid minifigure So you know not really that great But I mean I guess battle droid minifigures have to come with some sets if they're gonna stay uh, popular or stay uh, readily accessible, but anyways uh, Then the overall tank. Uh, I just don't really like it I don't really like the placement of where the figure is. I feel like it would have looked nicer if they could have somehow put him in the top spinning part. But I guess maybe that's not really possible. But I don't know. I did think the bottom part looks a little too wide as the um, those round things are supposed to be a little more shallow, not as high. Another one with the battle droid coming up next. However, this one is the Geonosin battle droid. Uh, we're starting to get into some of the better ones. Uh, my only complaint with this one is that I think the legs just don't scale right to the headpiece. Uh, but again, we're getting into some of the better ones. And, you know, if it's going to be a list, some of them have to be lower if you're going to arrange them. Coming up next is the Wookiee gunship. This one is much better than the clone gunship. It includes a great uh, Wookiee minifigure. And also the build is really good. Much, uh, much better than the other gunship. Uh, but still, not as good as some of the other ones on this list. Coming up next, we have the... X-Wing Fighter. I like this one because it has a uh, astromech droid head. I think that's pretty cool. Also includes a pretty nice X-Wing pilot and uh, looks pretty nice. And as far as all the micro fighters go, um, looks pretty good, but it's still uh, lower on the lower half if I uh, add all of them up, which is what I'm doing in this video. The next one, which is just slightly better than that one, is the Resistance X-Wing. So another X-Wing one. This one is the Resistance X-Wing because it is from The Force Awakens and I really like this one more than that one because in one includes a um, exclusive minifigure and also I think they did a much better uh, job on the X-Wing making the guns a little bit longer but still it's a little bit chunkier and not really the right shape of an X-Wing which is why again it's on the lower half of the list. And then next place is the Y-Wing. I like this one. It includes a Rogue One pilot because this is one of the Rogue One micro, micro fighters. This one does suffer from one of the problems with micro fighters is that they do uh, try to make them square like, um, uh, which the Y Wing is kind of supposed to be a longer vehicle, which I guess I don't really like that. And also, like the ATAT, -AT, I don't know why the missiles are on the sides like that. Like the regular ship has no guns anywhere near where those missiles are. And next we have the TIE Fighter from the First Order Special Forces. Uh, this is T First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Looks really cool. Um, I like the um, stripe on it. Um, however, I mean, 
it is one of the better ones which is why again it's not so high on the list compared to the other ones um, but I guess the only things holding it back are that um, I guess I just don't really like the wings part um, and I don't know I guess just some of the other ones are just better coming up next is the first order snow speeder vehicle that didn't really get a lot of uh, screen time in the movie but still is really cool another uh, great thing about this micro fighter is the figure that you get you get a really cool uh, first order snow trooper mini um, uh, minifigure and that's really neat also um, I guess just the guns look really cool they don't see it in this picture the engines uh, look really nice as well and I guess it's just kind of cool and I also like the uh, the turret on the front because you know the figure can uh, move around and kind of move that around next up we have the first order star destroyer which is a pretty cool one um, just because you know it's a first order star destroyer those are really cool this one does suffer from the fact that you know can't really get the shaping right on this scale however I think it's still really neat and the figure included is pretty cool next up we have Krennic's Imperial shuttle which they got the shaping really good on this one and I think the only thing uh, holding it back is the minifigure it's not a death trooper and it's not Krennic it's just kind of a random Imperial officer which I think is kind of lame uh, however they build for the shuttle is uh, absolutely phenomenal and this is uh, probably one of the better builds for uh, micro fighters and coming up next is the Millennium Falcon one this one is the original trilogy Millennium Falcon and it includes the old version of Han Solo or not old Han Solo but the one with the older hairpiece because I think this one was like from 2014 or something like that anyway it's pretty neat um, I do like the, the missile placement finally they got it right um, but yeah overall this one is kind of everything a micro fighter should be next up is the other Millennium Falcon that they made I think this is the only vehicle they've made twice other than of course they made a few TIE fighters but those are all different versions anyways this is the um, uh, the Force Awakens and Last Jedi version of the Millennium Falcon and I like this one more uh, one because they use stud shooters instead of uh, flick fire missiles which I think looks better also they have a few color changes like they're using black um, instead of uh, gray for those little circles I think that looks good and overall it's a few years later so they have a few new pieces like those tiles with holes on the side anyways then the Chewbacca figure is uh, a lot nicer than the Han one especially since that last one was the older Han Solo next up we have the TIE Interceptor and the only reason that I don't like this one a lot uh, the TIE Interceptor is one of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars but it guess it just doesn't really uh, have the TIE Interceptor look for me I just don't think those uh, the front things protrude far enough out again I think that it looks too square and not enough like the TIE Interceptor uh, yeah uh, but then the TIE Pilot minifigure I guess is fine another one that includes a TIE Pilot minifigure is the TIE Striker and I think this one is only slightly better than the uh, TIE Interceptor because I just think it captures the look a little bit more but again most of the pieces in this one are the same because I think they use the same uh, front canopy piece so they're pretty similar but I just think I like this one just a little bit more. In eighth place is the ARC-170 fighter. I think this one looks really cool with that clone pilot minifigure, as well as the ARC fighter. I think really translates really well into the micro fighter, this micro fighter form, as it doesn't really look square at all. I think this one is uh, actually really great. Next up is the best TIE fighter one out of the three TIE fighter ones. One thing that is a little uh, disappointing about this one is that it is the TIE advanced prototype, yet it just comes with a regular TIE pilot instead of including a Darth Vader minifigure that is a little disappointing but again I know they don't put the uh, expensive uh, hard to get figures in a good in a good price like low price sets like the micro micro fighters um, but anyways it's all right I think it really translates well uh, a lot better than the interceptor and tie striker next up is the clone turbo tank this one's cool because again it has wheels I think it might have looked better if they didn't use studded pieces on the outside uh, but that's all right and overall I think this one looks really cool in fifth place is the snow speeder or t47 air speeder I think this one looks great again they usually do uh, they kind of turn them into like squares and this is kind of a vehicle that is already pretty much a square um, I mean not height wise but you know width and depth wise it's pretty much a square already so I think it translates really well into the microfighter format and the nicely detailed pilot is great as well in fourth place is the ghost again it's another square vehicle that is kind of already the right shape for this microfighter uh, line and to have uh, Harris and Dula included is very cool 
um, especially since they don't usually include named characters in these microfighters. So that really does seem like a very nice touch to have that figure included. And I think overall the whole build looks really good. In third place we have the Ewing and I think this one looks great because I like how they didn't go for a square look in this one. I like when they go for you know more unique and uh, I think this is definitely one of the better microfighters. Um, it looks just absolutely great and really captures the look of the U-Wing really good. Next up we have the A-Wing vs. TIE Silencer Microfighters and for the two part ones I decided to uh, you know, add up how they both are um, combined uh, to uh, compare that to the other one. And I think both of these are two amazing microfighters both in one set which I think is really cool that it's not just like one carrying the set and then another one that's bad and to have two named characters in it as well is also really good. Taking the number one spot is the other two pack one. I think that the uh, AT M6 looks so much better than the uh, AT AT because those front legs and uh, the, uh, the head uh, just really look so much better. And then the Ski Speeder one is really unique because um, I think you know the Ski Speeder is kind of a unique vehicle and just turns into a unique microfighter. I think it looks really neat. And also I like the little piece of crate that is included as well. So anyways, that is my list. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave your opinion in the comment section down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.